students, okay, today we are going to our first chapter, okay, chapter one, microorganism, okay, total we have nine chapter in syllabus of form five KSSN science, okay, so there are three sub topic you are going to learn in this chapter. First will be world of microorganism, which we will cover in today's lesson. Okay, second will be the useful microorganism, and the third will be prevention and treatment of the diseases caused by the microorganism. Okay, so as mentioned, the sub-topic we are going to cover today will be the world of microorganism. Okay, so what is microorganism? So they are the organism that cannot be seen with your neck eyes. So the microorganism can able to see clearly under microscope. Okay, as we know, okay, so the COVID-19 is caused by the virus. Okay. So when we talk about the virus, the bacteria, okay, which is under the microorganism, so we will always think that the microorganism will give the bad effect to human body. Okay, but actually, there are some of the microorganisms we call that as normal flora, which is very important to maintain human health. Okay, so what is means by the normal flora? Okay. Let us go through the definition. Okay, so here, normal flora refer to the microorganism found in organisms, including humans and animals, which do not cause illness. Okay, so that means this is a microorganism. Okay, which is give the positive effect to our human body. Okay, so we know as the normal flora. Okay. Okay, so they are total five type of the flora in our body. Actually, it's quite common uh, normal flora you can find in your body. There is a uh, staphylococcus, the SP referring to the species. Okay, the second one is a uh, staphylococcus species. And the third one is a uh, lactobacillus species. The fourth one is a uh, conibacterium species. And the fifth one will be referring to the uh, Escherichia coli. Okay, total we have five common normal flora you can find okay in your body. Okay, so the first one you can see the upper parts of the respiratory tract. Okay, you can find two type of different normal flora there. So there is the staphylococcus and the staphylococcus, and the second will be the skin. Okay, on your skin there are two type of the normal flora. They are staphylococcus. Uh, Calling bacterium. Okay, and the third, you can find the normal flora at the small intestine. So there are three different types of normal flora there. Okay. So there are Esterica coli, Leptobacillus, Steptococcus, and the last one is at the urethra. Okay. So the normal flora will be Staphylococcus and the Chronic bacteria. Okay, so you have to uh, remember. Okay, so which part of the body have the certain type of normal flora? Okay. Okay, so the next will be the importance of normal flora to our human health. Okay, so there are four main importance. Okay, uh, of the normal flora to our body. The first one is the complex pathogen. So, the normal flora will be complex with the pathogen to obtain nutrients and prevent the formation of colonies of pathogen. So, pathogen is the antigens, okay, which may cause the diseases to our body. Okay, so that means that the normal flora are able to protect us from the pathogen. Okay, the second is we are able to gain certain vitamins. Okay, 
uh, through the normal flora. So here, uh, consists of bacteria that synthesize vitamin B12 and K. Okay, so that means we don't need to get these two uh, nutrients okay, through the food, but we may also able to produce okay, by the bacteria itself in our body. The third importance will be the growth of body tissue, stimulate the growth of the tissue. So the tissue here is the colon tissue and the tissue in the digestive tract. Okay, so these two types of the tissue are able to be grow well okay, with the presence of the normal flora. Okay, the fourth one will be the antibody. The normal flora is able to stimulate the production of the antibody. They are going to fight okay, with the pathogen okay, and diseases. Okay, so total we have four important uh, normal flora okay, for our human body health. Okay, so the next point we are going to uh, discuss about the classification of the microorganism okay so as mentioned that the microorganism is a organism that is microscopic and able to see under the help of the microscope and we are not able to see with our neck eyes okay okay so microorganisms are classified based on their size second is structure method of nutrition okay so what is the method of nutrition so the method of nutrition here is referring to how the microorganism get their food okay get their nutrients okay so here we have three different type of method uh, of the nutrition for different type of microorganism the first one we call that as the outro sorry autotrophy okay autotrophy means the microorganism is able to make their own food so that means they are presence of the profile which can help them to uh, make their own food okay uh, through the photosynthesis okay so the second method will be parasitic okay so parasitic is going to fit on the cell of other living things so that means the parasite will be uh, stay in the host itself and then get the benefit okay from the host and the at the end okay so the host may be at the back effect such as maybe will become become weak or dead at the end okay so the last method will be saprophytic okay so fit on the dead organism example the wood okay so the, you can see the mushroom okay uh will be okay live above the wood okay so the wood itself is actually the dead organism okay so this is an example for the saprophytic okay okay so the fourth classification will be referring to the habitat okay okay so where the microorganism is there and the last one will be classification based on their method of reproduction so that means the microorganism will be classified based on their size based on their structure based on the method of nutrition habitat and the last one will be the method of production so it will be production okay okay so the next will be the classification of the microorganism okay so we can classify them to five group so the first one will be fungi okay so this is fungi the second will be the algae the third will be bacteria then will be protozoa and the fifth one will be the virus so that means we can classify the microorganism to five different groups okay, based on the characteristic okay i mentioned just now okay okay so let's see the first one is uh, fungi okay so why this so this is actually the yeast okay so let us discuss the structure uh for the yeast so this is a cell wall so if you see that the microorganism which have the cell wall so that means this is the part of the plant so that means the yeast is referring to the plants not animals okay so here is the nucleus and we have the cell membrane cytoplasm okay so the orange color parts okay so referring to cytoplasm 
and here there is the uh, uh, hydrogen granule and vacuum. Okay, so here there is the bug. So we are so clear that the yeast will be reproduced uh, via bugging method. Okay, so the next, this one will be the new core. So new core, you can see if our grade is already going to uh, it's already expired okay so you can see the gray spot on the surface of the grid okay so if you are see under the microscope the structure will be like this okay so this is a spore so that means the reproductive method okay for the new core will be via the spore formation okay and as mentioned this is a grid and this is a high far and here there is a sporazium and here there is a mycelium okay so this is the structure for the new form okay so here we have two examples of fungi there is the yeast and the new form okay so now let us discuss the characteristic of the fungi okay so as mentioned just now we have yeast and the new form so the yeast is actually under unique cell so that means uh is a unique cellular microorganism okay so with the small spheres of the shape and the okay, so this is the structure i already explained just now okay through the figure here we can uh, conclude that the reproductive method for the yeast will be bugging okay the second is uh, now this cell, the example here is new pore. Okay, so as mentioned, okay, this is the structure of the uh, new pore. Here the spore. So from the picture, we can also conclude that okay, the new pore is reproduced through the spore formation. Okay, so this is the surface of the brick, and okay? you can observe okay the new pore on the brick. Okay, uh which is in the gray color, gray color spot. Okay, so this is a hypha, sporazium, mycelium for this, this part. Okay, so this is a new form. Okay, so what is the size for the fungi? So here is if that the size between 10 micron to 100 micron. So if we change to uh, prefix, okay, so Micron is referring to 10 power negative 6. So that means very, very, very small. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, through the figure, okay, so the new core will be reproduced via spore formation. Okay, and the yeast will be reproduced through the budding method. Okay, so both of these methods, spore formation and the budding is actually the example of asexual reproduction. So what is the asexual reproduction? So the asexual reproduction that means that the organism okay uh not need to depend on another uh, organism to be produced. So they can reproduce that cell when they have already action. Okay. Okay, so uh there are actually another way for the fungi to reproduce. Okay, so here is a uh, sexual reproduction through the conjugation so that means for the new core this is option for them to reproduce asexually through the spore formation or they may choose the reproduction method via sexually by conjugation okay but for the is uh it only able to reproduce through the asexually method which is known as bhakti Okay, so this is a close section, okay, and you can see that the surface we have the new core, okay. So when we enlarge the part, okay, you can see here is actually uh, I want to bring out the the way how the new core okay reproduce through the conjugation method. Okay? So here you can see the pink color, uh, new core referring to the first organism and then the purple color here will be referring to another organism 
Okay, so as mentioned that the reproduction, they are sexually, that means they need to have two different organisms, okay, to fertilization occur and get the zygote, okay. So here you can see the parts here, two different organisms, okay, of the mucor is actually mating, okay, and then there is the gamete, okay, exchange, or you can see the fertilization is actually take place and then form the zygote okay and then the new organism is produced which have the different uh characteristic okay uh with their parents okay well if let's say they reproduce through the spore formation okay so that means they will be have the same character as their parents okay so this is the difference between the reproduction through asexually and sexually okay so that means here okay the figure here is the uh, detail okay for the conjugation okay so the last picture here is referring to the uh, reproduce method by the east via the marking method okay firstly the nature is uh, will be looked like this and then there will be parting process to reproduce another new individual uh, itself okay and not depending on another is okay and then the nucleus will be divide itself and then become two different doctor cells okay but both of the doctor cells will be have the same factor as they come from the same parents okay so the next will be the habitat okay for fungi okay they are normally stay at the wet and dark place example here is gases animal skin and food okay so the nutrition method okay will be saprophyte and parasite okay so the saprophyte that means they will be grow on the dead organism here is actually the wood okay and the parasite here is referring to the surface of the ladybird okay so you can see the body of the ladybird got a lot of fungi okay so and now the ladybird will become weaker and weaker and then will be dead okay so this is called the parasite okay so let us go to the second uh microorganism okay so there is the algae okay so the first the example here we have the cremitomonas okay so with the shape brown shape and the Next will be the spirochira. Okay, so the shape will be filamentous. The next here is the uh, phytoplankton. Okay, so the shape is oval shape. And the uh, last one here, the example here is the pyrococcus. So the shape will be brown shape. So from here, you may know that the algae actually have different type of shape. Okay, so they have the brown shape, filament shape, oval shape. Okay. Okay, so simple aquatic plant that make their own food through photosynthesis. So that means the nutrition method for algae, as mentioned in this sentence, will be uh, autotrophic. Okay, so they have their uh, ability to make their own food through their chlorophyll. Okay, so the size for the algae is only between the one micron to hundred micron. Okay, so here there are two different types of algae. So the first is microscopic. Okay, uh, here the example here is sea algae, and the microscopic here is a more smaller one. Okay, so here the example here is Cremitomonas and the Spirochira. So the example of the figure I already uh, mentioned just now. Okay, if I say you uh, still cannot remember, okay, later on you can go back and see the slide again regarding the figure of the example I'll get here okay so the next will be the method of reproduction for algae okay here we have two type of method okay here we have two type of method of reproduction okay for algae the first will be binary fission okay, so why is binary fission so you can see at this figure okay the parent cell is divide uh, the cell okay into two okay so this is a 
binary fusion. Okay, so this is a syllabus you have actually already learned. Okay, in your form one, chapter four, reproduction. Okay, the next will be the spore formation. Okay, so the spore formation I already give the example just now. Okay, and here you can see at the figure, this is a fermentation. So the spirochera is divided okay into three fragments here and become three new individual uh photo cell okay so this figure referring to the uh method how the spiral era uh, reproduce via fermentation okay and again the last one is conjugation so the conjugation that means this is the method of the reproduction sexually so that means uh for this reproduction method conjugation they need two different organisms to be produced okay so that means the fertilization of the gametes will be occur for conjugation to reproduce a new individual and the characteristic of the new individual will be different okay if they reproduce through the conjugation okay and the binary fission spore formation and the fermentation these three method will be referring to the asexual reproduction so that means the organism uh, already mentioned they can reproduce themselves and not need to depending on another parent okay so the shape okay will be round filamentous and oval okay you can refer back to the picture i mentioned just now and they are normally stay at the fresh water salt water wet soil tree but that exposed to light. Okay, so why they need to expose to light? Because they have the chlorophyll and able to carry out photosynthesis and make their own food. Okay, so this is why uh, this type of the microorganism will normally stay at the area where it is able to exposure to sunlight. Okay, so we can conclude that the method of nutrition for the algae will be algotrophy. So as mentioned, this is a method where the organism is able to uh, make their food, make their own food, okay, through the photosynthesis. Okay, so the third microorganism we are going to discuss is regarding the protozoa. Okay, so this is a uh, amoeba actually. Okay, so this is a part of uh, pseudopodium. Okay, so this is called pseudomodium. And here is the nucleus for the amoeba. And food vacuum is here. Okay. So what uh, how to form the food vacuum? This is the part okay we can discuss later on. And here is the endoplasm. And here is the plasma membrane. Ectoplasm. Contrati vacuum. So the next here will be paramecium. Okay, so here we have the micronucleus. Food vacuum will be here. Uh, oral growth. Here is a uh, macronucleus, the bigger nucleus now, huh? and we have the severe. And again, uh, paramecium. Okay, there is the uh, contrati vacuum here. Okay, so let's discuss the characteristic of the protozoa. Okay, so for, for here, they mention it's a unicellular, exists in colonies. So that means uh, Alviva and the uh, Pharmacium is actually the example for the unicellular microorganism, but normally they will stay in the large quantity together. So exists in the colonies. The size is between 5 micron to 250 micrometer. And the uh, reproductive, so they, the method of reproduction will be binary fusion for amoeba and the uh, conjugation for paramecium. So that means amoeba will be reproduced. Okay, so that means that the binary fusion for the amoeba uh, is actually already indirectly mentioned that the amoeba is reproduced through uh, asexually, okay, while the paramecium is reproduce sexually through the conjugation okay so the shape is various shape so that means they do not have any fixed uh, fixed shape for so the paramecium is normally 
uh, appear as a slipper shape, but for the Alviva, uh, there are normally no fixed shape. And they are stay at the water and soil. So that means they're preferring to the wet condition. Okay, so the nutrition method for the protozoa can be parasite, saprophyte, or autotrophy. Okay, so as mentioned, parasite that means they will be stay in the alive organism. Okay, and ending will be bring the bad effect for the host. While for the saprophyte, they will be stay uh, on the dead organism. Okay, in the in other words, they will be decay for the dead organism okay or decompose the dead organism okay so for the autotrophic that means they are able to make their own food because they present some of the chlorophyll and able to carry out photosynthesis okay so the fourth microorganism we are going to discuss here will be the bacteria okay so here is an example of bacteria this is the part we call hypogen granule and capsule. Here is the cell wall. Okay, so here is the nucleus bacteria, which contains of the DNA of the bacteria. Okay, here we know as the pangelium. Here cytoplasm. Okay, so the shape for the bacteria can be. Uh, Spiral can be comma. Okay, you can see the shape is comma for this type of the bacteria. Uh, where the name is fibril. Okay, and then we have the spherical shape. Okay, for this three type of the bacteria, and we have the shape of roots for uh people bacillus bacteria. Okay, so that means we have four different shape for different type of bacteria here. Okay. Okay, so the next will be there are units unicellular microorganism. Okay, where the size of the bacteria will be between 0.2 to 10 micrometer. Okay, so the reproduction uh, reproduction method will be binary fission and conjugation. So that means for the bacteria, they are also able to reproduce sexually via conjugation and asexually via the binary fission. So the shape. As you can see from the figure just now, okay, so they can be in spherical shape, root shape, spiral, or common shape. Okay, and they are normally stay at the wet, uh, wet places such as the soil, air, body of the plants, and also animals. The structure you can also uh, see as the figure I mentioned just now, okay, so where is the part of capture, cytoplasm. Regilia, cell wall, nucleoid, ribosome. Okay, so the parts of the structure of the bacteria you can referring back to the picture I showed just now. Okay, so the slide I will be share to you. Okay, in work classroom later on. Okay, so the nutrition method for the bacteria will be also parasite, saprophyte, and autotrophy. Okay, so this is a where they get their food okay so uh so here the sentence mentioned that the bacteria is able uh to form spore okay when the condition is unsuitable for them to stay or reproduce okay so they will be formed in the form of spore okay maybe the condition is too hot or too cold for them Okay, so here uh, I'm going to discuss with you the reproduction of the bacteria by binary fission. Okay, so you can see here the bacteria cell flow. Okay, the genetic bacteria in nucleus is copy. So that means uh, here we have another new nucleus already. Okay, initially we have only one nucleus which uh, contains of the DNA for the bacteria. Okay, during the binary fission, okay, so it will form another nucleus and parallelly will be copying the new genetic material in the nucleus. Okay, they will be start to separate okay, here. So here the genetic material pull apart. So
so they will move to another two side okay so you can see the cell is already already split okay to two and at the end two identical cell pull apart okay so that means uh the new total cell is actually have the same character characteristic okay as the parents because the bacteria they produce their binary fission is actually uh, reproduced asexually okay okay so as mentioned the bacteria able to reproduce asexually through the binary fission or also able to reproduce sexually via conjugation okay so here we have two different bacteria okay so you can see here we have the conjugation uh pillars okay so that means they will be uh start to uh mating okay so the next cell attached to her recipient cell with the pillars so the pillars draw the cell together okay so that means now they are already joined together so the cell contact one another so now they already joined together okay the third will be uh, one strand of the plasmic dna transfer to the recipient so that means here this is the recipient huh? okay so the recipient synthesis a uh, complementary strain to become an H positive cell okay initially uh, the cell is actually is in negative okay after receive the new DNA okay from the F positive cell it will become F positive okay and then they will be restore restoring the parts okay and separate become the new uh, individual cell okay so this is the method how the bacteria be produced by conjugation okay so we go into our last uh, microorganism which is the virus okay so the shape complex shape okay for this type of the virus okay uh bacteria bridge and here we have the helix shape for the parkour mosaics and this is the body hydra shape for the endino virus and we have the striker shape for the influenza virus so here the virus is also have different shape okay there is a complex, complex shape helix shape body hydra shape and shape, spherical shape okay so this uh, different shape for different type of virus okay so again we discussed the characteristic of the virus so the virus is the smallest microorganism okay so it's only able to see clearly under the electron microscope okay okay so the size is less than 0 0.5 micrometer method of re reproduction here is inserting the cell of their host so that means uh, this is the method for them to reproduce okay so later on we will discuss how the virus reproduce by this method so the shape as mentioned there will be complex helix spherical and polyhydra okay and they, they will be stay in the living cell so this is a very dangerous uh, microorganism so we bring very serious diseases to our human okay and it's possible uh, cause the person to get okay due to the virus grow in their body so that means that they will be a uh, parasite okay for the virus to get their food okay so they will get their nutrients or food by the living cell okay so the basic structure for the virus will be made out of dna or known as rna protected by the protein layer which is known as capsid determine the shape of the virus so that means the shape is depending on the protein layer of the virus okay so how a virus will produce in the host cell Okay, so the first, the stage one, okay, so the virus and edge itself to the host. So the host will be the cell here. Okay. Such as the bacterial cell, 
and insert, uh, sorry, injects the genetic DNA into the host, host cell. So that means you can see uh, in the figure, okay, so the virus start to inject the DNA to the living cell. Okay, the next would be the genetic bacteria of the virus uses the bacteria in the host cell to reproduce. So that means the genetic or DNA which is already injected to the living cell will start to produce more uh, virus. Lah, okay, and then new viruses are formed. Okay, you can see at the bigger. Okay, so the DNA at the stage two is already changed, become the new viruses. Okay, and then the last stage, the new viruses burst the host cell and release themselves. The first host cell dead, so this will be dead, and the new viruses will be continue to attack another cell and inject the new DNA to the new living cell and then reproduce again and burst again. So that means the viruses. Uh, in the body will become more and more okay end up the patient okay will become weaker and weaker and last will be dead okay, okay so this is a summary of the characteristic of the microorganism okay we have total five different type of microorganism so they are algae protozoa fungi bacteria and virus okay so the size for the virus will be the smallest as mentioned Okay, and from here you can see the size for the algae is able to become the biggest lah, the lah, five different type of microorganism. Okay, and the second, the habitat for the different microorganism will be different. Okay, for example, for the algae, they will normally stay at the place which is able to get the sunlight. Okay, because the algae is uh, able to make their own food. Okay, through the photosynthesis. Okay. So uh, here mentioned that the algae will be stay at the fresh water, stream, and damp soil. Okay, while for the protozoa, we normally uh, find you are able to find at the water and soil. Fungi, fungi will be stay at the wet and dark places as they they are normally saprophyte or parasite. Okay, so that means they not need to carry out photosynthesis, so they not need to stay at the place where it's under the sunlight. So that means they actually scale around the sunlight. So they prefer to stay at the dark and wet places. Okay, the bacteria is able to stay at the soil, air, plants and animals. And the last one for the virus will be stay at the living cell. So that means this is a very uh, dangerous parasite Okay, for our human or others uh, type of reason. Okay, because they are able to uh, destroy our cell, okay, and cause the patient become weak, okay, and lastly will be dead. Okay, so the reproduction uh, here for the binary fission, algae, protozoa, and bacteria will be able to reproduce by binary fission, and the conjugation is the example of the reproduction method which is uh, sexually okay so the algae and protozoa both of them are able to reproduce okay through uh, sexually via conjugation and the spore formation will be the method of reproduction for algae fungi and bacteria the fermentation will be only for the algae okay Budding is only for fungi and the living cell is only for virus. Okay, so here the, the chart is show very clear that okay, so the microorganism is able to uh, reproduce in many methods. Okay, so for the binary fission, spore fermentation and budding is actually uh, undering the reproduction asexually. Okay, for the conjugation will be reproduced uh, sexually. Okay, and the living cell reproduction method is actually the DNA. Okay, from the virus and duplicate again in the living in the living cell. So, in my opinion, the living cell method is also a 
quite similar to the reproduction exception lead, okay? Which is uh, not need another parents to reproduce, so they can reproduce themselves. Okay, so the, for the nutrition, there are three different type of method for the different type of microorganism. The first one is autotrophy. So the autotrophy, that means they are able to uh, make their own food okay, through the photosynthesis where the microorganism is actually presents of the chlorophyll. Okay, here the algae, protozoa and bacteria okay, uh, are able to reproduce through the, not reproduce, okay, uh, get their food by their own through the photosynthesis okay and they can also another method to get their nutrients okay here is the parasitic the protozoa fungi bacteria and virus will be able to get their food or nutrient okay through the host okay the last one will be supro okay so the support means that the microorganism will get their food of nutrient through the death organism so here the protozoa fungi and bacteria will be use this type of method to get their nutrients okay so we have already finished the discussion regarding the five different type of the microorganism and the classification of the microorganism is based on their shape, their method of nutrition, their method of reproduction, their shape, their habitat. Okay, so now, so what is the effect, okay, will be affecting the growth of the microorganism? So here, the first is nutrients. Nutrients such as starch, amino acid, fats, glucose, provide energy for growth so that means they will stay at the place where they can get their nutrients to survive okay so the next will be light okay so for light if let's say the microorganism uh, presents of the coffee so that means they will uh, stay under sunlight to carry out photosynthesis and make their own food while for the microorganism which the nutrition method is through the parasitic and saprophyte they will be stay at the place uh, absent of the sunlight okay so most bacteria grow fast in the dark places because as mentioned they do not have any chlorophyll okay to carry out the photosynthesis so they will be uh, saprophyte or parasite they will stay at the host or the dead organism to get their nutrients okay so some algae need light for photosynthesis synthesis okay uh ultraviolet ray can kill bacteria so that means that mostly the bacteria will stay away from sunlight because the sunlight is presence of the uv ray okay okay so for the next will be the temperature Grow rapidly between the temperature with a range of 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, so too high temperature can kill microorganisms. So that's why we need to boil our water before we drink the water. Okay, because with the high temperature, uh, for the water will be about 100 degrees Celsius if you boil the water until it's already uh, want to change to steam, right? Okay, so that means at the 100 degrees Celsius, most of the bacteria will already able to kill okay but as mentioned just now okay uh, some of the virus actually they can uh, change in the form of spore so that means they're not dead and the bad condition they will change to spore and they will be life again when they are able to stay in a certain more suitable condition okay Okay, so the next will be the pH value of the surrounding. So if the pH value less than 7, that means it's in the acidic condition. Well, when the pH value is greater than 7, that means the condition will become alkaline. Okay, and the 7 pH value referring to the neutral condition. Okay, okay, so the 
My core organization is normally able to grow rapidly with the pH value of 7. So that means that the my core organization is preferred to stay in a neutral condition. Too high or too low pH value can kill my core organism. Okay, so that means the my core organism is mostly okay, not able to stay in the acidic or alkaline condition. Okay, so okay, so for the last humidity. Okay, so they are able to stay at the place uh, with the relative humidity between 25% to 45%. Okay, dry condition can kill the microorganism because they need water to stay just like human, right? Okay, so they need to drink water and get water also. And for some of the microorganism which they have the chlorophyll, okay, so they need water together to carry out photosynthesis, okay? Because as we know that to carry out the photosynthesis, the organism besides need to have the chlorophyll, they also need to have the water, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Okay, so this is a four main important uh, source. Okay, for the microorganism to carry out the photosynthesis. Okay, so that means that if in the dry condition without any water, so they are not able to carry out the photosynthesis also. Okay. Okay, so some bacteria form spore in dry condition. Okay, so that means if the bacteria is able to form in spore form, so that means they will be uh, able to stay for longer time. Okay. Okay. So the conclusion here that the factor affecting the growth of microorganism will be first nutrient, second light, third will be temperature. Fourth pH value of the pH value of the surrounding and the last one will be humidity. Okay, so this is a five factor affecting the growth of microorganism. Okay, so we have already finished the discussion uh, about our subtopic 1.1. Okay, in the next lesson I'm going to discuss with you the useful microorganism in our daily life. Okay, so that's all for my discussion today okay thank you bye bye